The Ultimate Comics are absolutely weird and there's no two ways to actually tell you about it. There's just really odd moments in these comics, like the Blob eating the Wasp alive, or Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver doing the thing while Wolverine watches from the distance, or even a time where the Avengers tape got leaked. And my god, it just really makes you think, what was Marvel cooking at this time? But what's funny about this is none of these moments come anywhere close to the time the Hulk was so down bad that he just destroyed half of New York to clap some cheeks. And for God's sakes, just look at this panel of the Hulk. He was ready to risk it all at this moment. But anyways, providing context to the story, in this world, the Avengers aren't really heroes at the time, and they're more so just TV show icons that aren't really prepared for the likes of the Hulk. Because none of the Avengers actually ever show up to training, so Betty, the team's PR manager, takes her anger out on Bruce, basically belittling him. And throughout the story, nothing goes Bruce Banner's way at every turn, with him either losing his job, his friends making fun of him behind his back, or Thor even calling Bruce out on the fact that he cries himself to sleep almost every single night, leaving the dude in a state of shock and disbelief, and I honestly feel bad for him. So days later, Bruce calls Betty from a random payphone while Betty is on a date with Freddie Prince Jr., trying to explain that he did something very, very stupid. Because Bruce mixed Captain America's blood into his body in hopes that when becoming the Hulk, he could really give the Avengers a big bad so the Avengers would look like real heroes for once. At least that's what he told himself, but in reality, he just wanted to feel big again as he starts to convulse. And a few moments later, an ambulance would pick up Bruce Banner to try and revive him, until out of nowhere, the ambulance would flip over, crashing into several different cars, with the Hulk bursting out, roaring, Hulk on Freddy Prince Jr. With the Hulk immediately causing havoc in New York, giving the superheroes a reason to suit up. Because during the Hulk's rampage to find Betty, he not only destroyed a good portion of New York within 10 minutes, but according to Nick Fury, the Hulk had killed dozens of people already, drank a whole truckload of beer, and is currently stealing pants from a homeless man, with Nick Fury left imagining what he would do if he got his hands on Freddie Prince Jr. As the Hulk is then seen climbing the building Betty was having her date in, smashing windows, screaming, Get away from Freddie Prince Jr., Betty. You're supposed to be Banner's girlfriend. Banner too much of a woman for you, Betty? Maybe it's time you gave Hulk a try. Hulk's gonna get you no matter who they send, Betty. Hulk hornier than a- Until Giant Man would interrupt the Hulk by pinning him into a building, telling the Hulk to take deep breaths and to calm down, but the Hulk breaks Giant Man's hold, grabbing a hold of his head, as the Hulk would slam Giant Man's head against a building over and over again until getting zipped away, where the Hulk would crash into Grand Central Station, engaging in a fight with Iron Man until Hulk would rip off Iron Man's helmet and try to eat his head off, thinking he resembled canned food. But luckily for Tony, he'd fire off a Thought Scrambler and send the Hulk flying back into the city with what little power his suit had left, leading the Hulk to run into the Wasp, where she'd distract the Hulk by flashing him. Oh, dear God, he really was about to risk everything. But anyways, the Hulk would be distracted long enough for Captain America to drop his very own tank atop of him, only for the tank to be ripped apart like paper mache in seconds, with Captain America trying his damnedest to take on the Hulk, while also trying to inject a sedative into the Hulk. However, the Hulk would be too strong and break the sedative before it had a chance to enter his body, as the Hulk would hit Cap over and over again, screaming, Hulk gonna smash open your head and suck out the yolk, you ugly piece of crap. But then, lightning appears, and Thor slams Hulk's face into the ground with Mjolnir, hitting the Hulk with a barrage of attacks from Mjolnir until the ground settled, with Thor asking if the Hulk has had enough yet. Nah. Thor's hammer just make Hulk horny for Betty again, hippie. As he tosses Thor aside, with the Hulk immediately grabbing Captain America, demanding to know where Betty is, with Cap telling the Hulk she's in the air. Upon Hulk hearing this, he throws Cap and rushes to catch Betty. And just look at his face. Don't leave Banner alone again! Literally grabbing onto the helicopter as the Hulk proceeds to rip it apart. But through all of this, during the scuffle with the Avengers, the Wasp managed to crawl into the Hulk's head in an effort to shut the Hulk down, where she could give him a Wasp sting and knock him out for good, making the Hulk scream out in pain before blacking out, falling to the city below. As the Avengers would approach the site moments later to find the Hulk reverted back to Bruce Banner, asking them not to hurt him. But Captain America stomps the shit out of him anyway for what he did as the Hulk ending the Hulk's rampage. And after New York suffered from the hands of the Hulk, Betty would visit Bruce in a cell specifically designed for the Hulk, and think that it was flattering the Hulk destroyed half of New York and killed countless lives just to clap some cheeks. What the fuck?
Well, anyways, I guess the Hulk has got some unlimited riz, and I hope you guys enjoyed this story, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and as always, I'll catch y'all on the flip side.